Dobrat discusses her platinum-selling music career and her joy at becoming a mother for the first time. Dobrat always set the bar high, being the first solo female rapper to sell 1 million CDs with her 1994 album Functified. The 50-year-old songwriter has now shown her devoted admirers that she can still rock the mic while expecting her first kid. Dobrat talked about the motivation behind her work and why her future is so promising when sitting down for a better life. Hosted by Yo-Yo Interview in Las Vegas, her wife Jessica Judy Harris Dupart also made a surprise appearance during the discussion. Although it may be difficult for hip-hop fans to accept, Dobrat's tremendous music career wasn't preordained. She spent a lot of time in church while growing up in Chicago and living with her grandma. According to Dobrat to Yo-Yo, I was raised in church where you couldn't wear no makeup, no earrings, no nothing, and your skirts had to be down at your ankles. When you were holy, you could only listen to gospel music, they referred to all other music as the music of the devil. She scribbled poems and rhymes in journals while keeping her grandmother in the dark about her interest in rap. I took a cassette from the school bus by LL Cool J. My very first tape was that. Super producer Jermaine Dupri recruited the budding rapper to So So Deaf in 1992 after he took first place in a Yo! MTV Raps competition and got to know Criss Cross. In 1993, he featured her on the track Da Bomb by Criss Cross, and she went on to become a break out sensation with her own distinct sound and style. Her childhood idols Queen Latifah, Moni Love, and MC Light inspired her to pursue solo success, which only fueled her ambitions. Dobrat went on to release four albums, collaborate with great performers like Mariah Carey, Lil' Kim, Missy Elliott, Destiny's Child, and Brandy, and continue to push boundaries. Additionally, she was nominated for two Grammy Awards, one for the remix of Not Tonight from 1998 and another for Got It Poppin' from 2004. After tying the knot in 2022, the rapper and radio host started what might have been her most significant endeavor. Yo-Yo was given a detailed account by Dobrat of her traumatic IVF journey as well as how she felt about the impending birth of their kid. Judy had blood clots in her lungs and an enlarged heart as a result of having her eggs stolen from her. It got really scary, Dobrat recalled. I have no intention of leaving my wife, but their struggles were far from ended. Dobrat miscarried after having an egg inserted into her. That was difficult. It made me sad. But I don't give up easily. Even though the second egg implant went well, controversy broke up when Dobrat wrote about their search for a black donor. As soon as Yo-Yo received negative feedback on social media, Dobrat immediately clarified her position and shared her opinion. Dobrat performed for the final time on Better Live before giving birth, and she electrified the crowd by belting out her smash song. Here are eight facts about one of the most important rappers in the genre that you might not have known in honor of the 50th anniversary of hip-hop.